Time for baseball under the Tropicana Field Dome in St. Pete. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2016 Tampa Bay Rays. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Steve, what's their focus as they go for their first win? Well, they're facing a guy today that throws a lot of strikes, so you're going to have to be aggressive early in the count, but get the ball up in the zone. Shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Chris Archer gets the call to pitch here on... All right, guys, here we go. We got our Blue Jays franchise up and running. This is episode one, opening day. The count is three and two. We got Kevin Pilar up as our first batter. Let's see what he's going to do. Uh, he's just going to foul that one off. I figured he would pop it up. That's what it looked like it was going to be, but it went foul. Now, here we go again. He's got another chance. This is number pitch number seven in the at-bat, and he grounds it to the second baseman, and we do not do anything else in the top of the first. So, here we go to the bottom of the first. No outs. Marcus Stroman pitching to Kevin Kiermaier. He pops that one up to Kevin Pillar, and uh, there's one out, and we, we take them out soundly in the bottom of the first now here we go to the top of the second with Chris Colabello up with two outs the counts two and two let's see what he can do and he's just going to hit that one right to the center fielder no chance of getting a hit there unless he kind of dropped it but that would have been an error now here we go to the bottom of the second with two outs James Loney is up to the plate the counts three and two and we strike him out with a big swing from James Loney there. Alright, end of the second. And look at that scenery. That is nice. Oh my gosh. I like how they added that. And that's, that's, that's really nice scenery. I just gotta say that. Now here we go. The, the count is 3-0 and zero with Dominic Brown up, our only lefty in the lineup. Let's see what he can do. He's going to foul that one off to make the count 3-1 and one with no outs. Let's see what... I'm hoping we can get a hit. No team to this point has a hit, and it'd be nice if someone would get a hit here. And it's 3-2 and two with a full count. Let's see if Dominic Brown can make something happen. He wants that spot in the lineup for sure. He's got to hit this. Is going back and it just hits the warning track for an out. What a that was terrible. Now here we go. Greg Brandon Jennings up. He struck out. Hank Conger up. He struck out. That's two straight. Well, that's actually three straight. Now here we go with Brad Miller. Can we get him out to make it four straight strikeouts? So yes, we can. Look at that, Marcus Stroman. Showing everyone why he is the ace of this Toronto Blue Jays and will be for the future. Now here we go to the top of the fourth. One out with Troy Tulowitzki up. What is he going to hit here? What can he do? He hit that one deep. Is it going to be deep enough to get out of the ballpark? Yes, it is. Home run number one for Troy Tulowitzki on his 2016 campaign. And uh, that is the first run and the first hit for any team. In which that one was a just straight jack out of the ballpark. What a hit for Mr. Tulowitzki. Hopefully we can hit a lot more of those. That would be nice this game. We really need to start off the season with a win. We don't want to start off the season with a loss. And now here we go with the cover boy, Josh Donaldson. And let's see what he's going to be able to do. The count is one and one. He takes a pitch in the dirt for the second ball, and there's one strike. Here we go. Here's the pitch from Chris Archer. What is going to happen? And it's a straight, no doubt, home run. Holy crap, that hit the race sign out there. Oh, my gosh. Two straight jacks 
from Troy Tulowitzki and Josh Donaldson. Chris Archer is just, I mean, he's probably fuming out there. He was doing great up to this point, and now he's just giving up the lead, and it's 2-0. to zero. Now, here we go. Same inning. And uh, still 2 nothing, And uh, Jose Batista strikes out, and Chris Archer got in there. He hit that fastball right in the corner. Nothing we could do. Pretty sure that was going to be a strike called, even if he stays and does not swing at that one. Now here we go, Brad Miller up to the plate in the top of the, I don't know, fifth or sixth inning. The count's three and one. Let's see what Brad Miller can do. Let's see if Marcus Stroman can get him out again. And he hits that one, Chortowski going into shallow right, left field. And he is just going to throw the first. And it was still a great play, still great effort from Chortowski as he Kind of goes into shallow left field to try to get Brad Miller out. I mean, if it had got there a couple of seconds earlier, he'd have been out. Now, here we go with Corey Dickerson up to the plate, and he's going to watch that one for strike number two. Now, here we go again with another pitch from Stroman, and oh my gosh. He just tied the ball game with one swing of the bat. It is now 2-2. Two two. Ball game has been tied. Yeah. Now here we go. Top of the seventh. Here is Dominic Brown again. And so far he has no hits. Now if he wants to stay in the lineup, he's going to have to hit some more hits because Michael Saunders is waiting to see when he can get his shot at trying to make the starting lineup. Now here we go with the bottom of the seventh inning. Evan Longoria is up. The count is 3-1. and one. Let's see if Marcus Stroman can get him out. And that is going to be a no. No doubt home run from Evan Longoria. The Rays have taken the lead 3-2 to two in the bottom of the seventh inning as Evan Longoria straight hit that out of the ballpark. And here we go with Brad Miller. We strike him out as that would be the last batter Marcus Stroman faced in the ball game. Now here we go. Still 3-2. to two. Kevin Pillar, last chance to hit something. And that is going to be a no. And now we got one more shot to kind of get back in it now. Bottom of the eighth inning, we bring in Jesse Chavez. He does fine to get every batter out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Now we go to the top of the ninth with one last chance as we got two outs with Jose Bautista stepping up to the plate. Let's see if he can hit a home run, send us into extra innings, or send us, yes, basically send us in extra innings, and he hits this one deep. But not deep enough. That's right at the wall for the last out of the ball game. We lose our opening day game to the Tampa Bay Rays. 3-2. to two. Chris Archer pitched amazing. So did Marcus Stroman. And that's going to do it here for me. Like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for our episode of the Cleveland Indians franchise. As we will be continuing on from the show 15. And we're going to be starting our Conquest gameplay. So, thanks for watching. This one, definitely a low...